Hi everyone, today we'll be talking about desensitization for amputation. What is desensitization? Desensitization is performed to eliminate or minimize the physical and psychological responses to a stimulus. According to Horn et al. 2018, in the case of an amputation, the stump is highly sensitive after a surgery which makes desensitization a necessity. This includes gentle massaging, light tapping, constant pressure and the use of various fabrics. So the purpose of the intervention is to decrease the residual limb hypersensitivity that occur after the amputations. Also, the other purpose is to improve the tolerance to touch, which is so that the residual limb are less sensitive to the touch. And also, we want to reduce the phantom limb pain that occur after the patients undergo the surgery after the amputation. So the site of the residual limb will become, uh, will become pain, so we want to reduce the phantom limb pain. So for the other pain theory, okay, as we know, the person residual limb may be hypersensitive after the surgery, which requires a technique known as desensitization. So by overstimulate a hypersensitive peripheral area with non-harmful stimuli, the CNS, which is a central nervous system, learns to accept those stimuli as non-harmful and to minimize overseas transform to them. And a desensitization program is actually very important to normalize sensations, which will ease discomfort caused by the tactile stimulation. Okay, as for the gentle massage, therapists will use one or both hands to net all over the stump and wrist to the limb. And therapists will slowly press and push forward with the palm of the therapist's hand. And therapists will start with the slow massage and build up to the hard massage. And therapists can use the moisturizing cream when um, do the massaging. And there are some other precautions that we need to take note, which um, do not massage over the open wound. Okay, for the duration, it is two to three times in a day for at least five minutes and the repetition for this uh, treatment is 10 to 15 times. And for the grading, we can start gradually increase the pressure, which is the massage, and we start with the slow massage and build up with the harder massage. Okay, for the evident base, massage can be used to reduce swelling, contractures, scar tissue, sensitivity and muscle spasm and also can increase blood flow. Massage can help uh, if favoring a limb has caused pain, some amputees benefit uh, from the self massage to the stump to elevate the phantom pain. The second intervention for desensitization is application of various fabric. The first method of this intervention is therapists provide the different texture of fabric. Second is therapists brush a smooth material lightly along the hypersensitive area on stump. Third, therapists rub the material back and forth in circular motion and random direction. And lastly, continue rubbing using the different texture of fabric. This intervention only takes at least 5 minutes and repeat this several times a day. For grading, using a smooth material to rust materials such as satin, cotton, corduroy and wool. Second, give lightly brush to more pressure and lastly increase the time from 5 minutes for several times to 15 minutes for every 2 hours. For precaution, take some time when changing to a different material due to the client's sensitivity and tolerance to each texture may vary. Second, do not use the material that can cause to the wound. Okay, according to the Huang uh, ETL, ETAL in 2018, this intervention shows the effectiveness in reducing pain intensity score using pain medication and with the tidy sensitization. Next, for the method, firstly, the therapist need to gently tape in with fingers in small circle which has enough force to cause very minimal discomfort over the suture line if the suture are still in. And once the suture are removed, the therapist can then a taping motion on the residual limb. And this intervention can be performed initially by the, by the therapist and then can be educated to the patients or family members to perform at the home independently. However, during the sessions, they have some precaution that we need to take note. But during the session, we cannot take the residual limb or on the, res on the suture line with the fingernail because it can cause pain for the patients. And secondly, we need to stop this intervention if the patient have any skin irritations or pain from the taping exercise. And then for duration, this treatment just take around 5 minutes and we can perform around 4 times per day. And for the grading, firstly, we can increase the gentle sleeping, which we can start with light sleeping and then slowly increase the pressure sleeping as the tolerance are improved. Secondly, we can increase the durations and frequency, which we can start around 5 minutes to 10 minutes and then from 4 times per day to 8 times per day. And we also can increase the repetition of taping, which we can start from 10 repetitions to the 15 repetitions. And this, for the evidence base, these interventions are very effective for the amputations, which is, uh, according to the studies from Hort et al. 2008, stump taping are significantly effective uh, in order to help control the pain after amputation surgery, which it can lead to average reductions in the pain, uh, which is the score of 1.92 by using short form medical pain questionnaire range 2, which is the range from post-operative day 2 to the day 6. Thank you for watching.